What's up, everybody? It's James from the Casual Tryhard MTG Podcast. It's time for a new set. We got Strixhaven here. That means it's time to crack a pre-release kit. We're going to go through the contents of the kit. We're also going to walk through real quick of how I build a sealed pool. Um, there will be another video coming after this with a different pre-release kit. We had some requests for Quandrix. We had some requests for Witherbloom, so I'll be doing both of them. Lucky you guys. If you guys want to follow us on social media, we're at Casual Tripod on Twitter, Casual Tryhard MTG on Facebook. Uh, you can drop us an email, show at casualtryhardmtg.com. Uh, make sure you check out all the links in the description for our TCG Player affiliate link. Um, we also have our Discord server. Um, there'll be a link for that, an invite link for that in the description as well if you want to come in and chat with us. We do a weekly Magic the Gathering related podcast, myself and my good friend Brian, on kind of all manner of magic topics. We talk about what to expect as a new player playing paper. We talk about what's going on on Arena. We talk about some of the latest Wizards of the Coast news. We talk some strategy stuff. We talk just about anything and everything. We're also really open to user-submitted topics user submitted listener submitted topics um so if there's anything you want to hear about in particular hop into our discord shoot us an email leave a comment below whatever you want to do and we'll make sure we get it addressed or we'll do a whole whole episode about it also we are trying to currently grow our youtube channel some so it would really mean a lot to us if you would like and subscribe and click the bell and leave a comment and all that stuff you do for all the other YouTubers. Thank you so much. I'm going to start some music here and we will get into this. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is Quandrix. This, I guess the schools kind of have all of their own separate, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, themes behind them. The Quandrix School of on Strixhaven are the Mathemagicians, according to Wizards of the Coast. So they look for patterns, um, use math in their magic. These pre-release kits are a little bit different than normal. Um, off and on over the years, Wizards has done some different things with pre-release kits. These ones contain a seeded pack that is supposed to help you build your sealed pool slanted towards Quandrix. Uh, Quandrix is blue and green. Got the guilds, and that, the school symbol right there on the back. Um, so we're going to have five booster packs inside. And then we should have a seated pack, which is this guy, and that's going to contain cards from the school. So it's going to be green and blue cards for the most part. And then we're going to have a promo, and now the promo isn't necessarily related to the school, but every pre-release kit has a promo. And ours is Vanishing Burst. I don't know if you can see that, but they kind of changed up the way they do the promo stamp. The promo stamp is over here. It's a little date thing, 2021. They used to put the date over here, and now we got this little weird thing. But really good card. Uh, not necessarily blue and green, but... And then each of the pre-release kits also has a spin-down die. Uh, they're all color-coded to the school that they're in. And it looks like they're going to have the... Not the set symbol, but the school symbol on them. So this one's Quandrix. This should be the same symbol that was on the back here. There it is. Look at that. And that should be... See, we got a little guide in here. How to build a pre-release deck, some little nifty Quandrix art, and a little uh, divider. All right, let's. Oh, all right. So every pre-release kit also has an arena code. Um, it is good for, I think, just booster packs on arena. They kind of changed the way they've done them. They used to be complete sealed events, and then I think for one they did a draft event. And now I believe they're just packs. There's our promo. And then I'm going to cover up the code here. But this will... And it says right on it, 
use this code to unlock six booster packs. Hopefully at the end of pre-release weekend, um, my local game store is pretty good about saving these instead of throwing them out when they find them around the game store. So hopefully I'll have some of these kicking around if you guys didn't make it up to pre-release and need a pre-release code. Hopefully I'll have some for you. So let's open up our seated booster here first. Now like I said, these are probably going to be mostly green and blue cards. So we have a Quandrix Pledge Mage. It's a green, blue, gold card. Now when I'm opening a sealed pool, I try to organize them in such a way where I can see what the pool is. So I normally lay them out by color. And we got a land, another green blue card, blue card, blue card, blue card, gold card, land. Now it looks like we got a couple uncommons here. We got a Zimon, Quandrix Prodigy, got a Wormhole Serpent, and Devouring Tendrils. Oh, and then we got a Quandrix Command. He's pretty sweet. Ta-da! Alright, and then it looks like we got a couple tokens in. Oh, they're dual-sided tokens. That's cool. They're Fractals on the back and uh, Pest and Elemental on the front. And a uh, marker for double face cards. Alright, so now we're just going to go through and crack the rest of these and see what kind of deck we can build. Gold card, gold card, gold card, white card. Now, every pack is going to have a lesson in it guaranteed. It can be common, uncommon, or rare. Uh, lesson is one of the new mechanics from Strixhaven. If you're interested more in the mechanics of Strixhaven, uh, make sure you check out our episode from two weeks ago, I think. Episode 116, I believe. That was our Strixhaven set review. So make sure you check that episode out. We walked through all the mechanics, explained them all to you, explained a couple weird rules interactions, and we talked about some of the cards we thought were interesting out of this set. Um, so this is a lesson card. Note this one is a rare. It's not in the rare slot for the pack. This is in our lesson slot for the pack. And we should have another rare coming up here. And we do. We got a Snarl. Necro Blossom Snarl. So these are the rare land cycle for Strixhaven. And they're going to be finishing off the cycle of lands from Shadows over Innistrad. So they're the show lands. You have to reveal this one is black and green. You have to reveal either a swamp or a forest from your hand when you play this, otherwise it comes into play tapped. And then we also have, again, if you go back to our episode 116 there where we go over Strixhaven, we talk about the um, Mystical Archive cards. Every pack is going to have one of these. Um, in this case, it's God's Willing. Now, these cards are not going to be standard legal, but you can certainly use them in whatever limited environment you're playing in. out of room here for a minute so I'm just going to set these up to the side. And our rare for this pack is Rushed Rebirth. Choose a creature. When that creature dies this turn, search your library for a creature with lesser mana value, put it on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. And we got Divine Gambit as our Mystical Archive card. And a Thunderous Orator for foil. Throwing cards around. Don't mind me. All 
Harness Family Infinity. A mythic. For clear emails, One black, 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 Star green, essays, green, green. Anywhere. It's yeah, the blackest and the greenest. Um, exchange your hand in graveyard. Exile this card. And we got a uh, duress as our mystical archive card. It's pretty cool. Oh, sweet. Check this out. We got another mythic. This is a uh, Mila Crafty Companion, and it's borderless. And the backside is Luca. Pretty cool. And then our mystical archive is a Crocin Grip. Ooh, and we got a foil in this pack. Study break. One more pack. So many multicolored cards in this set. Got a Draconic Intervention as our rare for that pack. And a Defiant Strike. All right, so now what I like to do once I get everything opened up is I look for cards that pull me into a color. So I'm just gonna run through the cards here that I've opened up single color, and then we're gonna tackle this multicolor monstrosity over here. Um, I'll start with the colors that aren't our quote unquote school colors, um, cause hopefully I need some room here. Hopefully these aren't gonna be the colors we're in. Straight up removal spell. This is, this is technically a removal spell, but it makes your opponent sacrifice so they get to choose. And there's a lot of tokens. I think just about every guild makes their own special kind of token, not guild school. And uh, so things like this are probably going to be particularly bad in this environment. So all we have in black are three removal spells. We are probably not going to be black. Ooh, we got two dragons approaches. Probably not going to be red either. Let's check our white real quick. That's actually kind of a cool card. Not good enough though. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be blue and green here. But let's go through some of this other pile over here. Now we have hybrid mana in this set, which means it's mana that either color can be used to cast a spell. So something like this spirit summoning could be red mana or white mana or both. Being as though we've kind of ruled out the other colors, I just want to see what we're missing out on as far as our hybrid cards. All the 
hybrid cards. So, these green or blue cards we're not missing out on. We would miss out on that. Uh, we can pay blue for that. We can pay green for that. And that's going to be all of them. So, we are missing out on Spirit Summoning, Lore Hold, Pledge Mage, and Silver Quill, Pledge Mage by not being white, red, or black. No big deal, let's set them up to the side. Um, let's see what else we're missing out on here. Missing out on their promo there, that vanishing verse. And our rushed rebirth. The Harness Infinity. The Mila. That's probably it. I think we're going to be okay with that. So let's see what we're left with here. Um, these colorless lessons probably don't ever want to be in your main deck. You have learn cards to go get them, and they're usually costed more on the fair side of things, so that they're not, it's not something you ever want to just top deck. Um, so I'm going to leave them off to the side. If we have learn cards, then we can certainly go get them as a silver bullet if we need to. I'm just going to leave them off to the side for right now. And this Cogwork Artisan is probably just not good enough. Six mana, four, five with reach. Probably not going to get there. Alright, so what I'd like to do first is lay out all of the creatures we got. That way we can start seeing, you know, what our curve looks like. And what the quality of our creatures are. And where we need to kind of make fill holes. So we have a ton of two drops here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Normally you want like 17-ish creatures, so technically we're one creature light if we played every creature that we have. However, if you look through one of uh, Quandrix's things is they have spells that make fractal tokens that are creatures. Like fractal summoning here is X blue blue and you make a creature and put X1-1 counters on it. Now it's not the best rate in the world and it's probably not even a good rate, but it is kind of a heavy hitter and we're, we're late on those. don't have a whole lot of power here. Um, you got these three needle thorn drakes. They definitely don't hit hard, but they have death touch, so they can kind of stem the tide a little bit. Uh, the moan's pretty good. Reckless Amplomancer is kind of a mana sink. I 
that's probably just bad. And then we're going to want some sort of removal. Quandrix command is probably pretty useful. This is uh, kind of a useful fight spell. is actually a fight spell and we got a couple of them. Probably sideboard material. Another fight spell. It's probably not going to make the cut here. We do have a handful of learn cards. Ways to go get our uh, lessons. So I think we will... Divide by zero is probably fine. Pop quiz is probably fine. I don't know that we're going to do arcane subtraction. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 is the number. That's what you're shooting for in a sealed deck. And I don't think there's a super good reason to play the rest of these, so we're probably going to call it there. And then in our lands, we have two color fixers, we have three archway commons, a snarl and a prismari. I think that's going to be the deck. It's not the best deck in the world, but it is one. Make sure if you're interested in this kind of stuff check back later and there will be another one with wither bloom let's see if uh, that deck looks any better also if you're looking to oh never mind not also if you're looking to Again, I'm James with the Casual Tryhard MTG Podcast. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe. If you like the video, leave a comment if you want to. Make sure you check out our podcast. It comes out every Thursday. It's here on YouTube. It's also everywhere you can find podcasts. Um, hop on our social media, Twitter at Casual Tripod, Facebook at Casual Tryhard MTG. You can drop us an email, show at CasualTryhardMTG.com. Make sure you hop into our Discord. There should be a link in the description. And we'll catch you for the next video coming up here. I also got a set booster box I'm going to be doing a box opening for. So make sure you check back.